to do is remove the negative battery cable from the battery. Then we're going to find the blower motor. Here's the glove box. And below the glove box is not the blower motor. It's a panel. Alright, so we're going to remove that first. We got one little push pin here, one there, and one there. So we got to remove those now. Alright, I just removed the last push pin. So, we'll just, it's a little tight, it'll slide out, there we go, and I think I can see the blow motor right there, alright, let's remove that electrical connector, check it, see if it, oh yeah, it's in good shape. It's not burnt. There. Now, what do we got here? We got one, two, three Phillips head screws. Oh boy, gotta love Phillips head screws. All right. Looks like this one back here, we're gonna need a little stubby screwdriver. We're very short on space here. All right, let's tackle those now. All right, let's remove this air duct. Where is my... Okay, here is the last screw. Phillips head screws. Hey, I'm not ready for you to come out yet. Don't you know you're on camera? You're supposed to come out when I want you to. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. There it is, partially out. It's a little tight. Oh, there it goes. Sweet. Hey, I see pine needles in here. What the heck's going on? How'd they get in there? Connectors look good. Yeah, looks good. Wee! <laughs> All right. I'm getting a little loopy here. <laughs> All right. So that's all there is to uh, removing a, a heater blower motor from your 2010 Subaru Forester.